Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. This one here is going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2004 Daytona 500 race win. Uh, what, my first Daytona 500 race win starts in 2004. I have four, five, I need six. I got seven, eight, I need nine, ten. Then I've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and soon to be 18, as soon as the Austin Dillon will come out. So, getting there, but uh, yeah. So let's get on to the box. Uh, this is an awesome box. So you get the sleeve. There's a Dale Jr. He jumps off the car here. Picture of him with the trophy there. Daytona 500 race version. Now you can see him going through the grass. It was neat. It was neat to see him get the Daytona 500 just uh, three, three years after. So, yeah. That's about all there is to see there. Uh, they only made 68,000 of them, so not enough of them out there. <laughs> Man, the numbers are different back then. 68,000. Now we make a couple hundred. Well, yeah, five, seven hundred, something like that. We make a good number, though. Downpouring here, man. All right, let's get on to the car. So on this car, hi, camera. Want to do better? There we go. So we got this little white film around the tire here. You can see there's some rubber marks up there, but we got this little white strip. Usually that's when somebody just barely touches your tire, rubs the, the black off it, makes it a little gray. So that's usually what that is. Front suspension there. Goodyear. Down the rest of the left side. Next to Cup Series. Rubber window net. Number eight there. Leaning forward. One little donut there. More rubber around the rear. Left rear. Again, grayed out. So they must he must have bumped sides with somebody at one point. Budweiser. Dale Earnhardt Jr. up there on the name rail. With the North Carolina flag. And Dracar Noir. Uh, Napa. Another little donut there. So on to the back, we got Think Fresh, Drink Fresh. Welcome to Nextel. It's the first season. And some scuff stuff's on there on the bumper from Bump Drafting. Fuel cell in there. No DIN. That did not start till 2005. And down the right side, we got Budweiser. A little bit more rubber and scuff marks. We got a little tire rub mark there or a donut on that. Uh, no roof flaps opening. Again, did not start till 2005. And then uh, a little bit of a scuff up here on the right front fender. Um, underneath, pretty pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, just the, the basic chassis, silver tailpipes, all that fun stuff. Um, come on, hood. It's a good, a nice, tight-fitting hood, which, as I've always said, is not a downside in any way, shape, or form for me. I love it when the hood fits real tight. So, um, oh, yeah, look at that. Didn't, didn't even want to open. So there's our engine detail. Pretty good on the inside there. You got headers. Not any... Crazy amounts of wires or hoses, but pretty decent uh, inside there. And you can probably hear the rain behind me. Just downpouring right now. We got a lot of water coming down. Uh, there we go. Onto the front. Some tape there. Monte Carlo. A little bit of rubber marks there. Pretty clean though. And then um, there's our grill taped up there, nice and black. And headlights. Born on date, February fifteenth, two thousand and four. And then uh, as you get over to the right side, we got some rubber up there. Some rubber up there, but. Uh, overall, it's just it's for me. It was a must-have. First, that was the first season I really watched NASCAR. Uh, that's why Kane was my favorite. Uh, he took over for Elliott in 2004. I think was the first year I really watched every race. And I remember watching a bunch in 03, but I really started watching in 04. Um, so it was a big deal for me to make sure I watched every race and sit down for it. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that was why I really wanted this one, is because that was the first Daytona 500 I remember watching. Um, and then I've watched every single one since and remember the finish is pretty good. So, uh, the only two I don't remember real well were, uh, 2016 cause I had to be in the car for that and I got to hear it, but didn't get to watch it. That was a bummer. And then, uh, 2015, I had to watch it on my phone. So I remember seeing it, but I was watching it on my phone. So didn't have quite the experience, but now I've got Daytona day. So I make sure I take that off, make sure I'm not working. So, um, Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, debating if I'll get this in Elite. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but maybe that review will come someday. We'll see. Um, got a bunch of these on eBay. Not this one. This is mine. Staying in my collection. It ain't going nowhere until I get an Elite. Then maybe, but I really like the way the, the ARC or Platinum or whatever, the way they sit. So probably just going to keep it the way it is unless uh, an Elite creeps up real, real cheap. So, uh, But anyway... This has been Race Craze. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.